morning, welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of several Tudor history books and also founder of the Tudor Society. Today, the 28th of December, is Childermas or Children's Mass or Holy Innocence Day, which was part of the 12 days of Christmas celebrated in the Tudor period. I'm going to share with you today an excerpt from the Tudor Society ebook Christmas in Tudor Times just to explain about this feast day. This feast day, Childermas, commemorates the massacre of the baby boys which King Herod ordered in Bethlehem in an attempt to kill the infant Jesus Christ. These innocent babies were seen by the Catholic Church as the very first martyrs. The 16th century Christmas carol, the Coventry Carol, which was sung on the 28th of December, referred to the massacre. Herod the king in his raging, charged he hath this day, his men of might in his own sight, or children young to slay. And the story is told in Matthew chapter 2, and I'm going to read to you from William Tyndall's New Testament, which of course was a Tudor uh, period New Testament. When Jesus was born at Bethlehem in Jewry, in the time of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, where is he that is born king of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east and have come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard this, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And he gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people and asked of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, At Bethlehem in Jewry, for thus it is written by the prophet, and thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Jewry, art not the least as concerning the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come the captain that shall govern my people Israel. Then Herod privily called the wise men and diligently inquired of them the time of the star that appeared and sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child. And when ye have found him, Bring me word that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were marvellously glad and went into the house and found the child with Mary his mother and kneeled down and worshipped him and opened their treasures and offered unto him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And after they were warned of God in a dream that they should not go again to Herod, they returned into their own country another way. When they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in dream, saying, Arise and take the child and his mother and fly into Egypt and abide there till I bring thee word, for Herod will seek the child to destroy him. Then he arose and took the child and his mother by night and departed into Egypt and was there unto the death of Herod to fulfill that which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, which saith, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, perceiving that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof, as many as were two year old and under, according to the time which he had diligently searched out of the wise men. Then was fulfilled that which was spoken by the prophet Jeremy, saying, On the hills was a voice heard, Mourning, weeping, and great lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and would not be comforted, because they were not. As Matthew says, Herod failed to kill Christ, but many infants were killed, and they're known as the Holy Innocents. In A Tudor Christmas, Alison Weir and Siobhan Clark write that in Tudor times, adults fasted on this day. And sometimes children were whipped as they lay in their bed first thing in the morning as a reminder of the suffering of those massacred infants. After that, though, they were given free reign to enjoy themselves for the rest of the day. 
Another custom associated with the date in the medieval period was, according to an article on Wikipedia, Wikipedia not being the most accurate of sources, but this seems to be true, refraining where possible from work on the day of the week on which the Feast of Innocents Day had fallen for the whole of the following year until the next Innocents Day. Oh, I do like that idea. In Spain, where I live now, Child Amass Holy Innocents Day is a bit like April Fool's Day, and pranks, or bromas as they're known, are played on people. One Spanish website uh, I found gave ideas for tricks which included substituting salt for sugar, changing the time on the clock while the victim is sleeping, sticking a coin to the road or pavement so people can't pick it up, putting toothpaste on a person's face while they sleep and scaring them by hiding behind a door and jumping out at them. Any of the tricks that you would use on April Fool's Day, really. We had no idea about this tradition in Spain until our local barman played a trick on us with our drinks one 28th of December and explained it to us. So today you can feel free to play pranks on your friends and family and just explain that you're marking Holy Innocence Day. Thank you for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking just about there. You can hit the bell to be notified um, as these videos go live. And you can, of course, also give me a like and a comment. Thank you. See you tomorrow.